And speaking of businesses, the state's chief financial officer, Jimmy Pertonis, made a stop in Jacksonville this morning, pushing for state protections that would shield small businesses from some COVID-19 related lawsuits. Now, a stop highlighted the food service industry, including a restaurant in Springfield. And that's where we find On Your Side's Alex Osidis. He joins us now live at this noon hour. And Keith, uh, Patron is talking about liability during the pandemic, a topic that's not just popular here, but in Tallahassee and in D.C. as well, including talking about restaurants just like this one, Strings here in Springfield. Now, what does that mean? Patron says hundreds of lawsuits have already been filed this year in Florida, claiming some businesses are responsible for spreading COVID-19. Patronus, State Senator Aaron Bean, Jacksonville City Council Member Rory Diamond, and others calling for a shield that would protect small businesses from such lawsuits, whether from customers or employees. On the federal level, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell on Wednesday threatened to reject a $908 billion bipartisan coronavirus stimulus package, saying that he and President Trump would support McConnell's own stimulus package that included pandemic related liability protection for businesses, just like what Patronus is talking about. With the shield from liability, we did ask Patronus what that could mean for accountability. This is not blanket immunity to a business. If they're not abiding by CDC guidelines, whatever the men and women of the Florida legislature deliberate is common sense policy. If they're not abiding by this, this provides no protection at all. You have got to look out for your people. You've got to look out for your customers. and You got to play by the rules. State Senator Aaron Bean says that come next month when the state legislature is back in session that a bill will be filed. Reporting live in Springfield, Alex Decides First Coast News on your side.